Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and for my hardware distribution company, I make a lot of product review videos, and some of the videos get into quite detailed analysis of the hardware, and sometimes other items are just visual or dimensional tours of the product, very short, and just recording something in particular or special about it. There are times when it would be really handy to be able to work on something and demonstrate how, let's say, a spring is replaced in a broken lock set. So I bought the iView from Rincon, and uh, the reviews were great. Uh, it seemed to do exactly everything that I wanted uh, to do. The camera's right here, and there's tons of videos online reviewing these, so this video is not going to get into that. Although I will tell you that when it comes to the world of putting a camera on your face, um, I have no complaints at all, except I'd like daylight lenses, so I don't know if those are available, but I'm going to search those. Anyway, I ordered these, and because my camera that I'm recording on now, let's say I'm working on my desktop, I don't have a, another camera, you know, or multiple angles of a camera, and creating a live event on YouTube is impractical. Recording multiple camera feeds uh, is certainly possible, but it's, there's no easy inexpensive, elegant way to get that information to the client. So you end up making manipulations and holding the lock up and showing what you've done, but I wanted the point of view. I got these, plugged them in, started playing with them, reading the instructions, I should say, and then realized I'm farsighted. I, I'm, I'm middle-aged, and while, I, while my distance is great, <laughs> I, need, I need reading glasses. So now I realized that the purpose of what I wanted to do with being able to demonstrate a lock holding it literally 16 inches from my face, it'll be difficult, it'll be blurry. And then I thought, well, I've got this old pair of cheaters, reading glasses. So what I did was, I've got several of them, of course, and I found a set that would literally fit inside of the width of the glasses. And you can see what I did. I cut off the arms, I cut off the nose rests, these were old, these were probably my first ones ever when they were just 1.0 or 1.5. And I filed down where I had cut everything so it doesn't scratch the inside of the glasses. And I'll just plop those in there. And they're great. When I put these on, I mean, I don't lose the position of my cheaters in there at all because they fit perfectly. So now, I can see everything really clear because I'm, I'm cheaters. The distance is no good, of course, because I'm wearing 1.0 cheaters or 1.5s. Um, and it'd be nice to have 2.0s. And if these 1.0 or 1.5s get to be difficult, I'll replace them with something equally small, like a woman's set of glasses is the point because the width of the bridge of your head is generally a little bit smaller, I guess. I, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not an expert. But if you're uh, farsighted, and you realize you want to do some point of view, this is how I solved the problem. If you have any questions on this, I suppose, I'd be happy to answer them, but all I did was take some nice end cutting uh, snips that I have, cut everything off, got my small little file kit, filed everything down because I don't want to scratch the inside of the glasses, and I called it a day. That's it. Problem solved. Thank you.